At that time, we seen somebody come out of vehicle two. Didn't know who it was on the passenger side, and they're about 200 yards up. <clears throat> they went to the ground. They were handcuffed. Next thing we know, the boy takes off with his pickup and the other occupants. Um, HRT, of course, pursues. Um, they got further down the road, and we realized there's actually a road block, road block about a mile down. And uh, from what Shauna Cox is saying, going off from what Shauna Cox and what, what Ryan Payne are saying, which were in, in the vehicle, um, visually, I seen the truck take off. You know, now, I mean, anytime somebody takes off with a vehicle away from law enforcement after they've exercised a stop, it's typically, act, you know, considered an act of aggression and foolish. Um, Payne said while they were sitting there and they were clearing my vehicle, that uh, uh, him and Lavoy kind of had a heated discussion, and Lavoy was actually rather heated. Um, but you know, I, I'm not going to dismiss you know or, or degrade Lavoy at all. Lavoy was very passionate, you know, about about this, about the movement, about about what we were doing up here. Um, <clears throat> but emotionally thinking, I mean, it, it's not always the best. But he was very passionate. I mean, I love the dude. I met him three weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, I admired him. Um, but he took off. You know, HRT had to chase him, you know. And then from what Sean Cox was saying, once they got down there by the roadblock, I don't know if he tried to go around the roadblock or what he did. But anyways, the nose of his truck got stuck in the, you know, snowbank right there. And uh, LaVoy has a diesel, manual transmission. You know, from what Sean Cox said from <clears throat> she was inside of his, inside of his truck, again, uh, that when he exited the vehicle, the rear wheels of the vehicle were still spinning, which... Diesel truck, manual transmission makes sense. It's possible till it stalls, um, and he charged after law enforcement. You know, numerous. You know, I mean, her story changed a few times. She's added pieces, subtracted pieces. I don't know. I really don't know. What I do know to be true is, from what Payne said, from what Sean has said, uh, taking you know pieces here, pieces there, and from what I witnessed, um, I didn't see the shooting. Um, <clears throat> he was not on his knees. He was not none of that. No, he was none of that nonsense. You know that was a that was a miscommunication um, on somebody else's part. But he went after him. He charged him. You know, um, Lavoy was very passionate about what he was doing up here. Um, <clears throat> not dismissing what they did. Not dismissing what he did. I don't know. I didn't see it, and I'm not going to speculate on it. Um, you know, they brought the the girls back down. They split us up. Um, put us all in FBI vehicles. <clears throat> they brought me and the 18-year-old back here to uh, the county facility, uh, the county sheriff's facility. Uh, everybody else went to Portland to a uh, federal facility. Um, they interviewed me for two hours. You know, they didn't have anything on me. Um, all the people that they picked up were original members of the people that took over the refuge. I wasn't one of them. You know, uh, they asked me, you know, do I belong to a militia? No. No, I'm just up here. You know, it's just standard stupid question trying to pin me down. And that didn't work. You know, I just kept reiterating to him. I was just up here sightseeing. I was up here visiting, you know, having a good time. You know, well, why is all the gear in the back of your cheek? Well, because it's not illegal. So, therefore, I'm doing it. Um, <clears throat> frustrated him enough, you know. Uh, they spent two hours. After two hours, dude walked back in, said, here, we're cutting you loose. Uh, 